Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to this lecture. This lecture is on Elastacache and this is the last database service we need to cover in this section of the course before we move on to our summary and then we can move on and learn all about Route 53 and networking. So what is Elastacache? And we did cover this off in the Database 101 lecture, but basically it's a web service that makes it easy to deploy, operate and scale in-memory caching in the cloud. And the service improves the performance of web applications by allowing you to retrieve information from fast managed in-memory caches instead of relying on slower disk-based databases. So what does that actually mean? Well, essentially, if you go to, let's say, Amazon.com and you've got, um, you go into, I don't know, the technology department and you see the 10 top most, um, you know, purchased items. What essentially is happening there is the EC2 instances, they aren't making those, um, those queries back to an Aurora database. What they're actually doing is they're making those queries back to Elasticache and Elasticache is storing those queries in there and it helps take off some of the performance impact because you're not constantly querying your main production database for the same queries. So you're going to cache your most queried information in Elasticache. And Elasticache uh, supports two open source caching engines. So we've got Memcached and we've got Redis. So what is the difference between Memcached and Redis and when should you use one over the other? Well, if you just want a really simple cache to um, offload your database, then you definitely want to use Memcached. It's able to scale horizontally uh, and you get multi-threaded performance. If, however, you're going to need things like advanced data types, if you're going to need ranking and sorting data, if you're going to need pub sub, so publishing and subscribing capabilities, um, if you need multiple availability zones or persistence, or you need the ability to do backup and restores, then you're going to use Use Redis. So if you want multi-AZ backups and restores um, and it's more sort of advanced data types, then you're going to use Redis. If you just want something simple and easy to get started with, then you want Memcached. So go on to my exam tips. Just remember the main thing you need to really understand going into the Certified Solutions Architect Associate exam is the use case for Elasticache. So it's used to increase your database and web application performance. And common exam scenarios will be, hey, your database is over overloaded, what two steps could you take to, um, you know, to make this uh, database uh, perform better? One is to add a read replica and then point your reads to your read replicas. And then the other is to use Elasticache. Uh, at the Certified Solutions Architect Associate level, you're not really required to know the difference between Memcached D and Redis, but you definitely need to know it going into the Certified Solutions Architect professional exam. Just remember that Redis is multi-AZ and you can do backups and restores of Redis. So that is it for this lecture, everyone. If you have any questions, please let me know. If not, feel free to move on to the next lecture where we're going to summarize everything we've learned in the databases section. And then that is it for databases. So if you've got the time, please join me in the next lecture. Thank you.